Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So I am doing a huge Amazon wig haul today and I'm going to try on different wigs that I bought on Amazon. And if you guys know me, you may know that I do have my own wig collection. So you're probably wondering, why are you buying wigs from Amazon? So the bottom line is that I love wigs. I've been wearing them for probably about five years now. And now that they've become so popularized and accessible, um, they're just more affordable and as a small business owner it's really hard for me to generate wigs at um, a cost where I would also turn a profit. So I'm going to keep on selling my wigs, you know, if you want to shop my signature wigs then go for it. I'm not going to like actively try to compete with these big businesses that are just taking over the smaller ones. And so I just got some affordable wigs because I'm ready to try different looks without putting in the investment of making it a whole new wig in my collection because that does take up a lot of money and I'm just not seeing the sales that I would like to in the wig department. My lashes and my rings are doing amazing so thank you guys so much for shopping. I know wigs are still kind of like a new thing and they might be scary to wear and stuff but you know what? Try it. Like you'll feel fabulous. Anyways, here is my Amazon box full of wigs. I got some really fun colors. Let's go ahead and get into the try on. So here's the first wig. She is a little pink wavy bob um, and you might see a lot of drag race references in this video I'll try to keep that to a minimum but in season 11 um, plastic tiara was like my absolute favorite and I felt like I could relate to her because I do have an Asian family who's disappointed in me for different reasons I didn't go to law school but yeah so here is the wig straight out of the bag she has her lace up here and she does have some pre-cut baby hairs, which is really nice. This is the inside. It has three hooks to hook onto your head. So I'm just going to go ahead and throw her on, and I'll be right back. Okay, so obviously she is a mess right out of the bag. Um, the baby hairs are nice. I really do like that. They have those there. Obviously the lace needs to get cut around here. Um, I would totally like to see some teasing done up here you know, and just wear it kind of like in the face like that. But other than that, she's cute. Yes, this girl is Lady Code approved. The hair is super soft and silky. And yeah, I'm pretty impressed, Amazon. All right, so here's the second one. She's cute. Um, the part quality is not as good as the other one. I really liked how the part was very like spread out so you could see like the wig cap through it. Um, I just folded the lace in. I tucked it under because cutting the lace and like tweezing out baby hairs and all that stuff is kind of a pain in the butt. So I'm just kind of like trying it on first impressions. Guys, I'm like gagging for real because it kind of smells like mold. It just smells like it got wet and then didn't dry properly. So this one's like really smells bad. There's nothing that dry shampoo can't fix. But she stink right now. But I am feeling her, you guys. This is like mermaid hair. So this is gorgeous. I'd probably just like tease this part so that I have a little bit more volume on top. And it looks like the hair is like really going out of my head. But damn, I love her. Um, the next wig is a white one. I did collect a series of white wigs. So we'll just blast through these white ones. Oh my god, this one smells so bad. Like, okay, so with this one. I don't know what's going on with the hairline. Um, well, the good thing is the lace is showing through the hairline, so you can definitely manipulate the part how you want to. So that's cute. I mean, like, see, once I start making, like, a part, she's not that bad. Um, but I think what I would want to do with this one, since her part is already, like, manipulated to the back, is just kind of do, like... To just kind of maybe do like a ponytail I mean that's actually really cute and then we can pull some baby hairs out I mean yeah she can be cute I guess like if we kind of just like work with the style I think that she can turn out to be cute it's just when I first put it on I was like oh my god which is like a normal initial reaction for every single wig that you get like when you're first wearing a wig it's like terrifying and wearing it in public like you honestly feel so paranoid but Trust me, like, you don't look crazy. No one knows you're wearing a wig. Like, it's totally fine. So, she's alright. I'm just not crazy about the hairline. But again, I think the manufacturers intended it for it to be um, flexible and, like, stylable. So, you can do a lot just by plucking wigs. And, you know, she's, she's versatile. We'll call her that. Okay, next we have, like, a white, white one. She's actually going to match my top. So, I'm going to throw her on and I'll be right back. 
So here's another um, wig that's just newborn and she just needs a little bit of shaping. Um, honestly, teasing right here is like the best way to go. If you just tease that base like a normal wig, it just turns out to be really, really cute. Um, I love this platinum white hair. She just needs a lot of polishing like every other wig, but she's really cute. I like the hair quality. As you can see here, the part just scares me a little bit because there is lace, but there's only like an inch of lace, so you just have to be careful about that showing, but she looks good. She's cute. Next, we have like a light brunette um, wig, and she's longer and she's straight, so let me throw her on and I'll be right back. I was just getting her out of the bag, but I just want to show you a close-up of what a good wig looks like. Um, she has like the plucked baby hairs and the hairline is thinner and that will always give you like a more natural look So you always want to look for something like this in a wig. Okay, so I don't know if this honey color is My color, but um the baby hairs are giving me a hard time right now because they have to get trimmed But I am so happy they're there and since they're attached to the lace I just don't want to like tuck it under too much, but this is just so you guys have a general idea um, this hair feels, it's like weird, like it's kind of like fake, but it feels alright. Out of all of the wigs, this is the only one that's shedding. It's not shedding too much, but there is some shed to it. But I feel like on the camera, the hair looks really healthy and kind of real. Like I could wear this to like a nightclub, I wouldn't feel super self-conscious about it looking too wiggy, because it does look pretty, um legitimate so yeah I just have one wig left and I'm really excited about her because I have never worn a color like this before she's a red hot fire wig so I'm gonna put her on and I'll be right back oh no I literally feel like Raggedy Ann there's like I don't know what's happening here. Do you see how choppy that looks? It just looks like someone hacked it. Like, this haircut is a hack job. Um, the idea of it is very cute. And I feel like it could look super fierce. It's just that this is just... Like, you see what's going on there. So, yeah. But she's cute. I like this color. I've never tried it before. And I'm kind of feeling it. So, yeah. Um, so... That was all the wigs that I got that I am trying on in this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you want to see more hauls, give this video a thumbs up. And I want you to comment down below and tell me which wig is your favorite. So thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you guys in my next video.